We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. At about the 37-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Hey, kill, kill, kill! And down he goes around the 38-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. That's good for two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 21-yard line, second down. the five. It's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it third and goal. Play 13 of the current drive. Down Beavers. He makes the PAT. So a 13 play, 74 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. find any open receivers. It's away and it's a booming punt. Tackle at the 24. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. You always hope for that extra contribution from your special teams to take some of the burden off your offense. They've already shown the ability to move the ball. And that's what they're going to have to do again here. Gets out to around the 45. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Oregon State is up seven. Throws out and through his hands. Number 86, the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. Red right two. the stop around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. That's a great tackle at the 49. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Like we're going to have a good game on our hands after one seven nothing Oregon State and we're ready for more football here in quarter number two wants to go long and does he's tackled around the 17 yard line and the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does, and he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Now it's first and ten with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Oregon State is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled at the seven. And that'll be a gain of ten by the running back. Here's the eighth play of the series. Black five, black five. Play action. And he just gets rid of it. And here's another third down. Taken down at the four. This is the tenth play of this drive. Green nine, green 
He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Just inside the five. Second down. The running back gets two on the carry. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. This is the 12th play of this drive. on the extra point. It was a 12 play, 74 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Number eight makes the tackle at the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. And some daylight. Makes it out to about the 49. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. He might have a chance. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First down. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Here he goes. He gets to about the 27 yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Immediately tackled. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the five yard line. Makes the reception. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Into the end zone 
end zone, down for a touchback. Oregon State's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of, just of an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Slings it. And he hits him hard at the 33. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. is left. Nice run, and he's brought down. He'll get the call again. And he is drilled at the 36. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Red two, we go. Green eight. There's a strike complete, and down he goes at the 41-yard line. That'll make it 35. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have. And he's tackled at the 16. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. He scrambled. He's going to take off. Tackle made at the 31. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Going deep. Picked off by the senior. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. Throws complete. He's hit right away. The Beavers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 34. And here's a quick throw. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 32. Throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. 
Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. So we've played two quarters. The Beavers lead 17-3. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Beavers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Looks left, finding his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. And he's level at the 20. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on the 20. They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and that's all. Fourth down, upcoming as they go three and out. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And he's taken down at the 30. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 30. In your face. Here we go. Go four. Blue four. Blue. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. First and ten. Ball on the 48. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Red two. Man wide open, in and out of his hands. Number eight, the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and 10. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. Green nine. Just throws this one away. From the 21 yard line, it's third down. They'll make the sack. 
A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. The ball pops free. It's recovered. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. And so the defense comes up with a fumble. Is that turnover going to hurt them? Well, every turnover hurts, but hopefully for their sake, this running back will go out there next time and hold on to the football a little bit better. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Makes it to the 17. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. in the jumbo set. And he has it on the corner. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He just never had a chance to get any running. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the two-yard line. Touchdown, Beavers! I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time, it worked to perfection. And he adds the extra point. for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Tries to buy some time. Tries to get around the corner. Looks like he's going to run. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. First down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit immediately. That makes it first and ten. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. 
easy, easy, Five easy. Fifty. Buffalo, Buffalo. Five fifty. Shut down. Motion, motion, check. Caught and up for the first down. The defense has it. So after the mishap, we've got first down going the other way. Often you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 36. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. And the running back takes the pitch on the option, and that'll be a pickup of about nine. the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Here we go. Oh! Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Man left, man left. Watch the slant. Hey, watch number 33. Watch number 33. Go! Go! He did not get to the first down marker. No game on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We played three, and this one's pretty much gone as expected. The Beavers with a 24-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Jack, Jack. Regular, regular, regular! Motion, motion. Brought down around the 15-yard line. the 14 yard line. They get this one off and it's a beauty. They'll bring him down to the 38 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. On play action, defense coming. He's going to go for the home run. And he's tackled right away. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Right 
Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings up second and goal. is a lot closer. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he tacks on the extra point. Oregon State to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fresno State's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be <laughs> hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Less than three minutes in the game. He scrambles. And down he goes at the 28. That'll make it second and seven. Check three, check three, check three. Switch, switch, switch. That close to being intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Tackle made around the 40 yard line. You don't want to criticize a quarterback for trying to make something happen, but I'm not really sure who he thought he was throwing the ball to there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. run and he's brought down. Six yard line. First down. Three nine, three nine, three nine. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Oregon State looking to build on this commanding lead here. He makes it to the 18-yard line.
Chicago State staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.